Hello, in this lesson we are going to show you how to park an invoice. In another word, the invoice document will not be posted for whatever reason, but it will be parked and saved. There are situations where you have to park an invoice if it's not ready for posting. This will happen for several reasons, like the invoice needs modifications to make sure that the invoice is posted successfully, or for example the amount on the on the invoice does not match the amount on the PO. To park an invoice use transaction MIR7 which can be initiated directly by entering uh, in the command field uh, slash n or slash n MIR7 and press the enter key. The initial screen uh, to park incoming invoice is displayed. Let's go uh, back and let's bring us back to the uh, main menu. Let's go ahead and navigate the setup menu path to initiate uh, this transaction to park an invoice. First, let's go to logistics, then go to materials management, then go to logistics invoice verification. Let's go and click on document entry and that will take us to the list of transactions we're going to use transaction MIR, MIR7 park invoice so let's go ahead and double click on the transaction and that will bring us to the uh, park incoming invoice initial screen uh, keep in mind that the transaction is similar to transaction MIRO uh, for entering an invoice the difference is what the difference is actually uh, is that when you are parking an invoice the invoice document do not need to balance in the SAP system to zero so begin by clicking on the invoice date click on the search icon to open the calendar and uh, enter a future date Let's put 3rd June Let's enter the amount as 800. Click in the purchase order field and enter the purchase order if it's known to you. I'm gonna type in or enter or select the first purchase order. Then press the enter key. Notice that the amount on the purchase order is 600 and the amount on the invoice about to I have received from the vendor is actually 800 so we have a difference of $200 that we owe to the vendor let's go ahead now and click on the payment tab in the baseline date let's go ahead and select search icon to open the calendar and let's go ahead and click on today's date SAP then uh, will calculate automatically the date for payment uh, the payment terms is necessary Go ahead and click the enter key. Notice that the due date now is July 2nd uh, because we have net 30 payments. Please uh, also notice that you can stop or block payment from this area by clicking on this icon. You could see the selection for the reason to block. You could select one of these options. Let's go ahead and now and click on basic data tab to go back. After the user noticed that there is uh, no match between the invoice and the PO amount, he decided to park this invoice. So let's go ahead and park this invoice by going to the invoice document menu. Click on it. And you have an option to say save park document. Control S. So let's go ahead and save this invoice as parked invoice. Notice that the SAP system will display a message at the bottom screen confirming that this invoice has been parked and gave us a, a document number for that to confirm. From here I can also go back and see the document that's been just parked. Let's go ahead and click on the show work list. Go to parked documents, click and go to the last one. Let's go ahead and hide the PO structure. If for any reason the user decides to unpark the invoice that's been just parked, 
and he got or the user got all the information needed to post to post the invoice and he entered all the information to the system then the user can post the invoice by selecting the invoice document and select as save or you could click on control 8 from here this screen also you can check the PO history of this PO if you have the authority from this transaction instead of getting out of this transaction go and use transaction ME23N to view the PO history of this purchase order so uh, let's go ahead and double click on the PO to view the PO history this is the purchase order history tab it's been selected and it shows all the activities under uh, this purchase order we just go and click on the back back out icon you can also simulate the invoice before posting it that also can be done from here and also from MIRO transaction at the time when you enter the invoice before posting simulate means that if you decide to post this invoice uh, what accounts will be affected or modified if I do that action and this will bring us to the end of this lesson uh, you have just learned how to park an invoice um, let's go ahead now and review the quiz questions to find out how much you have learned from this lesson and if you have any problem you could go back and review the material one more time